Hello everybody, my opponent for this game will be Pinan with 283 w games and uh, 156 wins. And hello again and welcome to Steps of War. As you can see I'm Largo please, the blue Zerg down here in the bottom left position. And my opponent is Binan, the Terran in the top right and as you can see he's a red like a strawberry. And he's asking me about my avatar that happens every now and then and it is of course the BlizzCon 210 avatar. As you can see BlizzCon online which I viewed was it in October or something? Yeah, but it was great. And this is the second time I am casting this game today. I did it once and when I should uh, render it, something was wrong with the ABI file, one of the ABI files, and uh, it crashed. I tried two times, it crashed both, both times, and um, I decided to uh, do it again now. A uh, new cast since I want to cast this game, I think it was a really good one. It was a lot of fun to play. And let's see what's going on here. As you can see, I'm getting my Jones up here. Got a scout away, going for the 14 gas, 14 pool as usual. He's getting his barracks, blocking off there. Getting some guys up here mining the usual stuff. And I'm here saying hello to him, nibbing away at his drone here. And of course, he's uh, responding in the right way, getting out and start starts to chase me around here so I'm going to move around here a lot to be able to survive as long as possible of course to do scouting I'm getting my over overlord out there in p position to be able to scout uh, later on as well as you can see I'm getting my spawning pool up here and of course if you didn't get a reference to the strawberry you should definitely look up the show scrubs It's famous you should know about it and it is um, something that I use every now and then in my private life and of course as well the word library um, in the comparison to the strawberry but that doesn't really fit in the startups I will uh, leave the libraries for now and uh, I still is gas instead and uh, why Am I doing this? Well, I was trapped. I would die anyway. There was no way out for me. So I decided to steal his gas for as long as possible because it is annoying and it shuts down a lot of uh, options for him. He cannot do anything gas heavy early on. And he's scouting me and what will he see? He will see gas, two serlings and a pool. And what can I draw f from that? Any conclusions? Well, I'm having two serlings, a pool and some gas. And now I have four servings, but he doesn't know that, so I uh, ahead now in the psychological game, of course. And there I accidentally let my gas finish. And if you didn't see that, uh, of course you didn't, I missed that. He was shooting with one marine on it, and he probably had a, like attack, kill this, and then uh, had uh, it rally down here. So that marine, when I cancelled and uh, rebuilt it, the marine walked down here instead of continuing shooting. And this tells me a lot, as you can see, I see four marines, that tells me something, it tells me that he's going quite marine heavy. And as you can see, he's building his second barracks as well, and getting his tech lab to be able to do some upgrades to production. Here he's getting his stim, and of course when I saw that, I got my banelings nest, because against Terran, banelings almost always works quite well, if he doesn't go pure mech but uh, he isn't so I will do fine in that part and he's getting a third barracks as well which of course tells us that he is going quite heavily on the infantry and what am I doing I'm getting five drones I'm getting my expansion I'm getting my lair up and I'm doing some scouting and getting some more thirdlings two more so it's just one set I don't want to overproduce it uh, now but I do want to be able to see what he's doing I want to be able to have some servings to prepare to build banelings if I need to. And as you can see, oh, let's see, mark my gas and uh, my minerals building up. I have a, my gas is building up as well. And I'm waiting for my lair to be able to get the baneling speed, of course, which will help uh, a lot. 
and uh, since I do not have any creep spread, uh, because this is a uh, hmm, there we go. This is where I usually fight, because uh, otherwise I need to sacrifice my my expansion. So I ha don't have any creep here, and uh, the building speed helps me move a lot faster. And if co of course if I get creep out here and even down the ramp, I have great mobility with them, and I'm doing a uh, quite a huge transfer here getting some overlords because of course I am capped, I'm over supply cap, it's so annoying and my this is laggy uh, it's so annoying and I really need to work on that, I'm trying and I poke up and I see a lot of marines some marauders and finally I can get my banning speed as well and he's getting a factory with a check lab I think it's check lab, yeah it is so he goes with m mainly marine marauder and uh, he's getting a tech lab, what can you do with that? You can get siege tanks, we can build an armory to get Thors of course, and but no he's getting a siege tank, he's researching his uh, siege tech. I'm getting an overseer, because they are great at scouting, as you probably know, but uh, then I forget about it, that's how I roll. And I saw that he had pushed forward a bit, so I decided to go build a lot of Zerglings. And I'm tr uh, morphing in some Banelings as well, to be able to defend the for this push. And uh, of course, this is a problem, because I saw that he moved out. If he moves out an attack, and I do not build any kind of defense, I will die so hard. So, both Terra and uh, Protoss especially those two races can really exploit that against Zerg with a faint attack, they move out halfway and then they just back home and uh, turtle up again and I will, or any Zerg user, uh, user uh, player, you need to build units to be able to defend and uh, here, as you can see, he actually did attack I'm moving in here, I'm chasing him with my banelings and I take all my Zergs to go kill the tank get rid of that one and uh, my building still some damage I'm trying to delay him as much as possible here but my Zerglings is just evaporating so I'm moving and a lot of banelings down here and now it's, it's um, this is really a hard time I feel the pressure here of course in the game he's at my expansion he got my queen of course I don't want him to kill my queen but uh, I can live with that as long as I have my expansion but now I have a lot of banelings as you can see they move really fast and creep and quite fast of creep as well I'm chasing him away and uh, he cannot f take this fight, he will die. He's steamed down to orange and red already. So that first attack didn't deal tha that much da damage, of course. One queen was killed and that is annoying, but I can live with that. But he's giving up for a second push to be able to keep the pressure on me. And I'm getting a queen and as you can see now my production is at zero, that is really bad. And now one creep tumor, but there we go, getting a spire to be able to get out the mutalisks, which I really love. They are great at pinning down him into his base. Give me the map control right now, he's having it. If he moves out here with the siege tank and the keep vision, I cannot really engage. And he's getting his expansion as well and attacking, as you know, from day nine. Attack and expand is a great way. Another great way to win games is to lose your whole fucking base, but uh, that is for another day and for hopefully not in this push.